My adventures at E3 2016 were made possible by NVIDIA Australia and New Zealand. Oh, moving on now to Ubisoft, which was next time. Oh, there's so much to get through today. I'm going to try and burn through this. Where's my notes? Watch Dogs 2, which was... Mm, I'm, I never really played the first one. I heard it was a bit... Meh, and this one sort of looks to try and patch up the bits and pieces where the first one sort of fell over itself. But it, it kind of came across to me as a bit try-hard. It's like a group of suits in a, in a boardroom decided to try and tell young people what is hip and cool and, and it just kind of felt really strange and awkward. They should have gone full parody like Hackers the Movie or, or got someone in that, that knows about this, this particular culture because it feels like they don't quite understand what hackers do. Anyway, it doesn't really matter as long as the gameplay is fun. And it looked interesting. It looked a little more complex, a little, a little bit more freedom, a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, a few more choices in what you do and how you approach things. It could be worth checking out. I'm yet to make up my mind on that one, though. I think I'll wait for even more information before I choose that path. Um, Grow Home, fantastic little indie game that a lot of people love. I am yet to play it. Uh, I've, I'm, I think I've got it on my Steam library. Pretty sure I might have. Anyway. I will get around to playing at some point. I've seen people do Let's Plays and stuff on YouTube. It looks fantastic. But that's getting a sequel called Grow Up, predictably enough. Ooh, Star Trek VR. <laughs> How can we forget Star Trek VR? Uh, they had LeVar Burton and Carl Urban and Jerry Ryan. And if you're any kind of Star Trek fan, you will instantly know exactly who those people are, which universes they come from, and what character they played. The only thing I was disappointed was... Uh, when they had LeVar in the headset demoing the game, they didn't like put a sticker of the visor across the front of it. That's what I would have done. Maybe, maybe they tried to do that, and he says no. I don't know. That, I thought that would have been funny. You know, the VR helmet with Geordie's visor across the front of LeVar's helmet. How did no one think of that? It, 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 I'm bewildered. Anyway, Star Trek VR looks fantastic. Um, you and up to three of your friends, so four players in total, are on the bridge... Of, an, of a starship that looks very much like the Enterprise, but it isn't the Enterprise. I think the I think the MacGuffin is it's a brand new ship, and your mission is to go out there and test it. So you're on a bunch of missions, you know, hunting down you know Klingons and, and and scanning planets and you know all kinds of missions. And you basically have to work together as a team, as as a proper bridge crew. So the captain has his job to do, and the science officer has his job to do, and the helmsman have have their job to do. And what was the third one? Communications, probably. I don't know, but you know you've all got to work together as a team to you know to get shit done, and that's. I mean, what more can a Star Trek fan want than to be able to play a bridge officer in a virtualized environment on, on the bridge of a starship? I mean, that alone is going to sell so many headsets, so many VR headsets. It's going to be ridiculous. I, I mean, even if I didn't know anything else that was coming to VR, and there's lots to be excited about, <laughs> even if I didn't know anything else, that would be, that would be a way to sell it to me. Be a bridge officer. Oh, and of course, the other really exciting thing to come out of Ubisoft is South Park Fractured But Whole. I loved, and I mean loved, the first South Park game, Stick of Truth, if you don't know what that is. In fact, I own it twice. I played on the Xbox 360 when it first came out, and when I heard about, when last year, about this time last year, when I heard about you know Fractured But Whole was coming, um, uh, I saw it on uh, for sale on Steam, and I thought, I'll buy it again, but this time on the PC, and I'll play through because I didn't want to bother about the backwards compatibility on Xbox One or digging up the Xbox 360 again. I just wanted to play it. So it was on sale on Steam. I bought the original, and I'm going to play through that in full. might even stream it on my Twitch channel before Fractured Butthole comes out. And the stuff they showed, I mean, they showed proper gameplay. They showed the setup. They showed some of the superhero options because it's superheroes instead of fantasy this time, which is even more up my alley. I love superheroes much more than I love, you know, wizards and fantasy and stuff. It looks freaking hilarious, but of course it does. It's a South Park game. Um, and and they've, they've updated the battle system. So now instead of just a, a simple, you know, RPG style battle system where you stack them on spot, you can actually move around the environment. You can get pushed back. You can push the enemies back. You can use the environment in ways to damage them. And it, it looks like a slightly more complicated and a little more enriched and a, a bit more sophisticated battle system, which I'm really looking forward to getting into. But yeah, that's, that's yet another game. I'll be there, you know, day one, hour one. I've fractured butthole. I'm super excited about it. Ah, um, oh, and then there was Steep, which is some sort of weird snowboarding, parachuting type experiential game that you, if you do a cool jump, you can set it as a chunt. I didn't quite understand it, to be honest with you. It was very bewildering. It's a very Ubisoft thing to do. So like, here's the thing we did. It looks amazing, but you, you might have to play it to you know, grok what's going on here because we can't quite explain it properly in a presentation. Um, did you understand it? Anyone who, who fully understood what that game was supposed to be about, raise your hand. But one thing Steep did make me want is for them to integrate the NVIDIA Ansel technology. You know, the, the, if you haven't heard about that, look it up. 
uh, basically a sophisticated screenshot thing where you can free yourself from the camera, move around and do all sorts of fancy camera tricks to get really cool looking screenshots, do 360 screenshots because the mountain ranges and stuff look spectacular. So I want Ansel in that game. Ah, but that was about it from Ubisoft. Next, PlayStation, which I've just...